Hey there, it's Brittany. Welcome back. Um, I think I want to do a tutorial on color blocking today. So I brought out some of my less expensive beads. I'm not going to say cheaper beads because they're not cheap. They're just less expensive. And um, I know some of you don't use acrylic beads and that's totally fine. Um, but I did show um, acrylic beads recently that I got from Hobby Lobby on clearance. Um, and I uh, sorted them for you guys. So I had these pink beads, I had these black beads, um, and these were from a different mix I got um, from Darice. Um, and I have these spacers from Michaels. So these are all like really accessible beads. They don't, you don't have to buy them from a specific like hard to find retailer. And these also came from um, Hobby Lobby. I think I want, I don't know how I feel about m mixing the metals today because I originally pulled out these three. I like this pink, but I don't want to have two of the same bead. Um, and then I just grabbed this cute um, pendant from, I think it was from Al AliExpress. I mean, this thing had to have been less than a dollar. So um, I wanted to do kind of color blocking on a budget here today. Um, because I don't know how I want to do it. I'm just going to be experimenting. I wanted to do, I grabbed some items that have um, larger holes because I want to use leather. And I'm looking for my um, black leather, but I'm not seeing it. Oh, I lied, here it is. And this is, I think, one millimeter. I don't think I, ha I wanted to use thicker, but I don't think I have one and a half or two millimeter in black and I don't know that two millimeter would fit through these beads so um, we're gonna figure something out today <laughs> I don't have a design in mind per se but we'll see how it goes I'm gonna bring over my full bead tray again I'm gonna back out the camera too and then um, we'll get started okay so I'm just gonna put my <clears throat> Um, pendant right here just for now uh, we can I don't I don't know how we're going to fix it if we're going to just string it on the leather or if we're going to not today I think I really want to not but we'll see so um, there aren't I mean the only rules for color blocking I guess are that there are blocks of colors you can do still do a pattern with color blocking I'm noticing though that some of these beads are not exactly the same color. They might have faded because they were on clearance. Um, but that's okay. They're cute. I love these beads. So I'm going to just start with four and four and see where we go from there. And we might not even end up color blocking, depending on how <laughs> what I decide. Sometimes you guys have seen I've gone in a completely different direction from where I start. Sorry, there are two very distinct colors in this bag, and that's because I got two different boxes of these beads and mixed them together, and I didn't notice at the time that one was slightly pinker than the other. Okay, not that pinker is a word. <laughs> oh boy. All right, so I love pink, and I love turquoise, and I love black, and all three together is just going to make me super happy. So I'm going to separate, I have more of these beads if I run out, the beads um, with the, the colors with the silver. I have no idea what I'm doing, guys. I'm just going for it. <laughs> I haven't done color blocking in quite some time. And I don't have a ton of these beads. I only think I have eight. Nope, maybe nine. Ten. Okay. Well, that's okay. is turning out cute so far 
Okay, so I have two more turquoise and I don't know if I want them to go here. No, I don't. So I'm going to put them up here or I could save them so I can make a matching bracelet. Yeah, I'm going to save. I'm going to put these off to the side and save those for a bracelet. Um, I need more silver beads. I mean, you can't see it, it's kind of outside of the camera, but I'm going to put four more black beads up above these beads up here. Wow, this necklace came together so fast and it's super cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. I was gonna end up giving this one away because I was like, oh, there's no way this is gonna be as cute as I want it to be. And I lied to myself and to you guys, it's super cute, I love it. All right, so I'll put more um, silver beads up there. And you guys will see that at the end. Um, now I need something that's gonna come in to right here. And I'm just gonna look in my silver uh, spacer bead box and try and find something with a larger hole because we have to be able to fit the leather through it. Um, but small enough to fit in to this little open space so I have some saucers but they're not as 3d as I want them to be they're too they're almost a little too flat I know I have other beads that are like this but more 3d and I can't remember what the heck I did with them oh these are cute they're like mini versions of these like exactly that might work and the hole's big enough surprise there we go that's perfect awesome so um i could do several different things here i can string on regular wire but i i really want this to be a little bit more rustic so I'm just gonna string it on my leather and I'm not measuring right now I'm not even cutting it right now because I don't know what I want the back to look like I don't know if I want to put some knots in it so I'm just I have a really long like four yard piece of leather that I'm just gonna string on and I can trim later and I'll just start with this bead and I'll go from there Okay, so our necklace is adorable and loving it. And let me know, guys, would you like to see this in a more high-end version where I use like gemstones instead of acrylic um, just to see what the necklace would look like? Or would you want to see that in maybe a future video where I do one with um, more affordable beads and then do one with their more expensive counterparts. I think that would be kind of fun, but let me know if that's something you're interested in. Also, before I finish off this necklace, I wanted to let you know that um, the person who won the earrings did ne never contacted me, so I pulled a new name, and I'm going to show you guys who won. Just one moment. Congratulations, Joyce. I'm so excited you won. I know Joyce is a subscriber. I've um, commented with her a lot in um, future, uh, past videos. So Joyce, please um, send me an email to this email address right here um, by 6 p.m. on September 9th so I can send you out your earrings next week. Um, so anyway, Thanks so much for uh, entering that contest. Um, we're at like almost 2,700 subscribers. So right when we hit 3,000, I'm gonna do another live and I'm gonna do um, another giveaway. So um, please like and share and comment. That gets um, the videos more visibility and more chances for you guys to win. But anyway, sorry for taking time out. Um, we're gonna finish this necklace uh, up. Well, we're gonna finish it to a point. So I decided to try something new. I want to use, this is a bale, 
Um, but I'm going to use it as a connector. So what, all my chain, I think, is packed up at this point, at least the chain that I want to use. Um, so, But I want to finish this necklace off with some really bold chain. I can't do that right now because it's all packed up, and I'm not going to go buy chain for this necklace um, at the moment. But um, we're gonna. I'm going to show you what I want to do with it. So I'm going to take my barrel knot bead or tube. I'm going to take one end of my, I've already done it on the other end and I don't want to give away the secret. <laughs> so I'm going to take this end of my necklace. I'm going to make sure it's a little tighter than that. Sorry. There we go. And I am going to slip my leather through the bale. And it's double sided so it doesn't matter what side I put it through although I do like that side a little bit more and then I am going to pull it down my leather because I never cut the 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 necklace I guess I could do that now but it doesn't matter I don't want to waste um, leather by cutting it twice so I'm gonna go ahead and sorry if my technique will probably need a little bit of help on this one just because it's I'm doing something I haven't really done too much before. Um, I'm going to take my barrel knot tube, put it in between the two pieces of leather, one on top, one on the bottom. And actually I'm going to put the one, make sure that the necklace, the part that it connects to the beads is on the top and the longer piece that can be cut off is on the bottom. I'll pull this up towards you guys so you can see a little bit more. I'm going to wrap around my barrel knot tube and that piece of leather. This is really long. Um, and then I'm going to wrap a couple more times, but I'm going to go towards the left of the bead. Oop. Sorry, one moment. Go towards the left of the bead, uh, the left of the first loop. And I'm going to pull through again. And I'm going to do it one more time. Sorry if you, it's hard to see. My hands kind of get in the way a little bit. Wrap around. Um, I'm going to do it one more time. Might not match the other side, but that's okay. I'm going to be the one wearing it. And then what we'll do is take our tail. So make sure you hold this and it doesn't, it's not slipping through. Um, we're going to take the end of our leather and slip it through our bead here just until we see it poking out the other side there we go and I'm going to remove the barrel knot tube and I'm just going to pull my tail whoopsie sorry I'm going to pull the tail through and then I'm going to finagle my knot because it's too loose right now. So I'm going to pull um, on both, I'm going to pull both the knot and the leather itself until I get it to where I want it to be. And this might take some time. Oh goodness, this might be a little too I think I tightened it a little too fast. See, now we have too much going on here. So let me loosen this a little bit. Hopefully I can loosen it a little bit. If not, that's okay. We make mistakes and then we fix them. Okay. So I'm just pulling and loosening until and repositioning until I can get it to where I want it to be. I think I did it with a little bit too much slack in the beginning. And now I'm having a hard time having it fit. Well, this is the side that I finished already and I'm going to keep finagling until the side that we're working on looks like this. Or we can just start over which, you know, that might be something we have to do.
Okay, we're going to try one more time. I took all the knots out, and if it doesn't work, then we will move on to a different technique. Um, I was able to do it on the other side because um, I, didn't ha I didn't need to worry about um, this part being shorter or longer. Um, so it, it's always easier to do it on one side. <laughs> and all right, so I made that a little bit shorter this time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap around a few times. this back put this through our um, sorry it's wrapped around my camera uh, tripod put this through the the end of it through our bead if I can find the end of it there we go guys I cannot wait we have one week till close and I just want to be in the house because I want to start making Halloween stuff <laughs> I really like making Halloween jewelry and I've been I have so many ideas and I want to do so many videos with you guys but I just not I don't have access to any of my Halloween stuff so anyway back to what we're doing here take out our bead barrel knot tube whatever you want to call it all right and I'm not going to um, tighten as quickly as I did last time all right so I need this to Trying to figure out what without tightening the bead. Okay. Oh, goodness. Okay, third time's a charm. <laughs> um, I'm going to try one more time, and if not, I'll just move on to something else. All right, I'm going to make sure that we're as close as possible to um, this other bead. Actually, now something else that I'm thinking about doing instead of a barrel knot, because although I got it to work really, really well on that side, it's just not working on this side. Um, and that's probably just a knowledge gap on my part, but um, let's see if there's something else I can do. If I can come back through this bead to give me some tension. And then I can do it on the other side as well. All right, so now And I didn't want to, but I need to. Okay. I'm trying to do a barrel knot without the barrel. <laughs> Did it work? Kind of worked. So I don't love it. Uh, and then I'd have to undo this side, which I really do like. For it to look more like this. But you know what? I don't hate it because it's more cohesive that way. All right, so all right, we'll undo this barrel knot on this side. And just be super careful making because I've already cut um, the barrel knot on this side hopefully hopefully I have enough leather if not then I'm gonna move on um, to something else 
I'm sure I can just use crimps or um, cord ends, but I, I wanted to go for something different this time. All right, so we'll come back down through this bead. Undo our kamikaze <laughs> barrel knot. And then I'll grab my E6000, dab a little dot of glue on each knot and cut off my tails. Let's see if I can find my E6000 somewhere. Sure. And then I will snip off my leather, slide the bead down over the knot, and we'll do exactly the same thing on this side. Make sure to wipe off my clippers and put the bead cap or I'm sorry the cap of the glue back on that was kind of a wild ride guys sorry about that I probably won't keep in most of the issues I had with the barrel knots because that was just frustrating but um, here is our not finished <laughs> color blocked leather necklace um, what I'm going to do once I get all of my supplies unpacked. I'm gonna have like a um, day where I just finished jewelry that I, I've semi-completed because of not having everything together. But what I'll do is once I find the right ch um, chain, or if I, maybe I wanted to use leather or something else, I'll go ahead and string it through here or could attach it with a jump ring. Um, or you can even, I, I could even clip off these loops and just use the bail loops just like I did here. So I, I have a lot of um, really good options. And I love how this necklace has some movement because it's not too tight up there. But isn't this super cute? Isn't that color blocking like really adorable? I just love it. I just love it. And it's my three favorite colors, black, turquoise, and hot pink. So if you're up for it, let's make a bracelet so we can actually have one finished piece of jewelry. <laughs> oh goodness, guys. I promise at some point I'll do a finished jewelry video with that included. I'm grabbing a uh, beadboard that you can't see off the side here. So. Um, I had two of those turquoise beads left. I'm just going to make one bracelet. And then I have tons of these left. And where did I put the black beads? Okay, so um, this is going to be a focal bead on the front and a focal bead underneath. Um, I don't have a charm that looks I don't think I have a charm off the top of my head that looks like this or I that's smaller or I would put it under on the underneath of the bracelet um, I'm looking through the charms that I got when I bought that no I don't I don't just double check <laughs> I have a something that looks similar It was this dagger that was on these earrings. Let's see. Hmm. 
Uh, you know what? I'm okay. I'm okay just doing beads. Okay, so we're going to put one on the bottom. of, And by bottom, I just mean bottom of my wrist. And then one on the top. So... It's like seven, day 73 or day 74 of the bracelet challenge. I just can't believe how fast they're going. It's like March through May was about 500 years long. And then July, August, and September are just flying by. All right. So we'll need something right here. I don't know what I'm, I'm just kind of coming up with a pattern as I go, but uh, I'll measure it in just a little bit because I think this is going to be way too long. Well, I know it's going to be way too long, um, the way that we're going. because that's about as long as we need the bracelet and I need to get in um, well that works so we have sorry it's a little wonky pink black turquoise p black pink turquoise I think we're good um, now it's just put it time to put it on a stretch piece of stretch cord. I can see if I can find a elastic cord needle and I'll be right back so we can do that together. Okay, so I strung my um, beads on the Beadalon elastic cord needle. I'm sure I'll get questions, but it's called the Beadalon elastic cord needle. I can't say that enough. <laughs> um, and I got this um, on Amazon. So, um, and I think they have the needle at Amazon. I know they have it at Michael's too. Um, I'm just gonna hook my elastic cord onto my elastic cord needle and slide my beads down. One of these is stuck. There we go. Oh no. Okay, so this can happen once in a while. So the I was pulling too hard and the elastic cord needle um, opened a little bit so these have like probably the worst rating I've ever seen for a product that I actually like um, and that I actually promote what I have to you have to be very careful you don't snap that and just pinch it down with your um, with your pliers so I've done I've broken these before and I always just kind of modify them to work again um, eventually you will have to replace these they're not they don't last forever they're only a couple bucks um, maybe five and they don't last forever if you're making a ton of bracelets honestly I would I would buy one or two of them because especially for people who are making stretch bracelets for a living if you if they fit through the beads you're using they're just they just are so such a time saver and look it happened again so I'm almost a hundred percent sure that this is gonna end up breaking soon and in one of my other videos I've shown you guys how I've fixed that um, if it happens now then it'll happen I'll show you again but like I said they're they're a piece of wire <laughs> I mean you could probably make one and I think actually Emma might have made one I, th I saw her using something that was similar but I didn't see where she actually made it so I'm going to unhook put that to the side and I always cut off sorry random bead I always cut off the part that was in the hook because it's no longer um, good you can't use it in your bracelet or else it'll snap. And I just dropped some beads. Just two of them, though. 
um, it's no longer good and your bracelet bracelet will snap if you try and include that part in, in your actual bracelet. So I'm going to cut this off. And I always pre-stretch, always. And I'm just gonna tie three times. Take my GS Hypo Cement glue. Dab it on the knot. Close up our glue. And cut off our tails, not all the way down. Actually, you know what I always do is go like that to make sure that the glue is worked into the knot as much as possible. And then um, snip. And I'm just gonna hide that knot um, in this barrel bead. Stretch a little bit. And then there we go, there's our little, our little bracelet. So cute, and it matches our necklace, or the beginnings of our necklace. So let me know what you think about um, the color blocking and um, the way we finish this. And at, at, at some point, I promise you, because I want to wear this necklace, I will finish the back of the necklace um, because it wouldn't be fun if it was just sitting in my drawer and I can't wear it. So anyway, there are two pieces. Oh, they're so cute together. Oh my goodness. I really like that. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you know anybody who likes beads, is crazy about beads like me, likes jewelry, please share. Um, like I said, once we get to 3,000, we'll do another giveaway, another live. And Joyce, make sure you contact me so you can get your earrings. Thank you so much. Stay tuned for your favorite long-haired chihuahua named Goldie. <laughs> Have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye. Having a good day? What you doing, huh? What you doing? You wanna say hi? No. Hi everybody. <laughs> you just woke up from a nap, huh? Yeah, hi cutie.